So now we're going to talk about more about the interaction, the microscopic in, uh, results of applying an electric field on a piezoelectric material. Or similarly, if you apply a stress, you'll get the similar result. So remember that a polarization, a spontaneous polarization, is necessary for piezoelectricity. And we know that there is a polarization vector in each of these materials. So let's draw this uh, fake barrier and titanate cell. We have the oxygen displaced and the titanium displaced. This is positive, negative. Draw the arrow wrong side. We draw it from negative to positive. And therefore, um, in a real material, we're going to have several of these in a row together. That's why we have real materials. They're stacked. Uh, basically, real materials are stacked cells, which are all bonded together nicely. So the really the real material is going to be like that, and it's going to have all of these. Each of these unit cells is going to have a polarization vector uh, by themselves. But also, what happens in piezoelectric materials is that the neighbors, let's say like this neighbor and this neighbor. Okay, let's say this neighbor and this neighbor. They don't have to have the same polarization. So if you, you can draw it again, if you can draw it again, you can draw something like this. So we can have one going this way, one going this way, one going this way, one going this way, this way this way. Uh, what we don't like is that the ha either either you have one of the two cases. This is this is the un very unfavorable case where we have two ha two polarization going head to head like this. So we have the titanium atom displaced here and the titanium atom displaced here because they'll be cause too much energy so they don't that doesn't really happen. But uh, we will have um, this this happening. We have we have a polarization vector going that way. In this case this would be like a bigger bigger size. So we can't have things like this. But usually we don't just have domains going like all random like this because this when when a domain is going to point that way, it means it's going to be longer here. So if we have a domain pointing here, basically titanium atoms is placed on that side, we're going to have uh, that. Um, because essentially this is positive and this is negative and you go negative to positive. So and then if you're going to have a titanium atom uh, like this, we're going to have the titanium atom up above the middle ground, above the middle uh, line of the of the unit cell. So essentially domains like to stick together. So basically you'll have unit cells like this, but then you may have another unit cell like that. And this will be, for example, this will be like this. And we will have, un we ha we will have a bonding here. And you can imagine that in the between this, this boundary area, it's going to be stretched out. So if we draw just the bottom part where they, where they unite, let's say the, this is a section of upward polarization. And then we have it connected to a section of a sideways polarization. So these, these atoms are going to tend to want to be bigger. So I'm drawing a bit of an exaggerated view, but basically, since these atoms want to polarize that way, they're going to want to keep their uh, um, orientation and their size that they're used to. But see, these interfaces are going to be a little bit stretched. So these domain walls, they're, they're, these are called domains. Areas, so areas of, you could say, um, similar or the same. domain and see so here, here we have a domain A and we have another domain over here B and in between we have what is called the domain wall
So now we will describe what happens to piezoelectric materials when you apply a, a, uh, a field over them or a stress. Uh, but before that, I'll explain the concept of switching. Also, you can say polarization reversal. It's also called polarization reorientation. Reversal or reorientation. So basically, we have this material. Let's say this is a unit cell. And we apply a large voltage on it. So let me let's see. So if we apply a voltage like this, we get an electric field like this. Therefore, the titanium atom is going to want to this positive one. It's going to want to go closer here, so we get a larger polarization, resulting polarization. So induced polarization is large. It becomes larger. But if we apply an electric field the opposite way, you know, by using negative here and positive here this positive atom is going to want to go this way and these oxygens are going to want to go up but the, but the positive atom it's going to be the one who's dominating in this and for this material the titanium uh, for and we're still working on the BITIO3 from the last lectures if you didn't watch them we're working on this material and if we keep applying a force applying electric field this, this atom is going to want to go down we know that but let's say we apply like an extremely large voltage, what's going to happen? Large negative voltage. Or electric field. And remember, we define the coordinate system in the same direction as the polarization. So the so electric field is going opposite. What happens is that we have the titanium atom. Here it was here, but then it flips and it goes to the other side. A titanium atom, it flips and it goes to the other side. And this is called switching. This is called 180 degree domain reversal. See the polarization vector used to go this way but now it's switched and it got no one that way and, and, and when the oxygens obviously they, they move a little bit in the other direction as well so this is called 100 degree reversal and this is a, a, a quality of fair electricity which we'll descri describe later but first I'm going to describe its effect on the material properties uh, soon this is the point I'm trying to get at so also it's not necessary that the domain has to switch in that way for example the domain can also switch like this see we, we did have something like that let's say we had this let's just draw a little bit we had this and the titanium atom is here but then we applied that electric field and then the titanium atom it went here that titanium atom instead of moving downward that we normally think over here it moved actually over there so it actually move in this direction and it expand the unit cell this way due to the repulsive effects and this is a re domain reorientation it's not a rotation so we didn't rotate this here so for example, the atoms which are here, they didn't rotate here and here. Rather, what happened was the atoms which were here and here went over there. See, it's not, a, it's not a reorientation. It's just that titanium atom which moved. The other atoms are still in the relative position, the same relative position that they were originally. If the corner atom didn't move to another side of the corner, it stayed on the same side. So, therefore, we can understand what we call a 90 degree domain reorientation and this actually affect uh, adds a lot of 
uh, has a significant contribution toward piezoelectricity and the piezoelectric materials their, and their properties. So D, the D constant, for example, is greatly enhanced by domain walls, by domain movement. And again, why do domain walls move? Um, I'll go into that a little bit more uh, in the next lecture.